Alright, what's up? I'm Ayan and today I will show you how to download F-Droid, the Play Store alternative for free and open source software or applications for Android platform. Which means you can use this app to download open and free software without any ads or any paywalls. These apps are completely free to use so you don't have to pay for anything. Simply go to this website. I will provide the link in the description so you can download it for yourself. Hit the download Android app. And the best thing about this is that you can also update your already free and open source applications installed and keep them up to date as much as you want. Here are some apps you can see which are last updated and newly installed. So after you have downloaded this app, well this is also a great app for using open source software instead of apps that you already use. You can also find alternatives on it. After you have downloaded the f app, simply hit install and wait for the installation to complete. Well I highly recommend that you refrain from app, the apps that you download from play store and you can use this free and open source alternative of those apps right from f application. I actually use f for myself so that is why I am making a video on it. So let's wait for the installation to complete and this is taking awful a lot of time. Okay now it is installed. Let's open it up and see how we are going to use it. First when we open this app soft store we wait for it to download and the repositories it is updating the repositories so finding those apps can be easier. Not easier but it gives the information and some things like that. This combines open source applications from GitHub and other open source software hosting websites which I don't know. Now we wait for it to update. Here you can see there is our apps categorized right there. Ok now the update is installing. I am actually surprised that the download was not up to date. So we need to allow from this source. This is this might be a trick to let it install unknown apps which means you can install without having any issues. As you can see I got an update and this is the f itself update and it is downloaded now we wait for it to install. Simply hit the update button and it will install on its own. Actually it will update the already installed application. Damn I'm talking too much. Ok now it looks like the update has been installed and here we have the latest available free and open source apps that we can use. I actually use local send. Ok we got an update here. Let's try and update this app. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just hit update. You can also change update settings if you are into beta options but I highly recommend using the you know. Uh, the alpha apps uh, this does not show up in the update section I don't know why let's check some settings here you can see these are the free and open source apps that I already have installed okay you might not like nice to know okay this is working fine this is also working fine yep this is the thing I use most of the time and Okay, so looks like the source code is different from the one I downloaded from the Play Store and from the f application. So we're gonna have to uninstall this local send app and then download from the f and it will automatically be good. Okay, let's see if we get any issues with other applications. Nope, no issues so far okay nothing to see here and yep everything is good except for the oh you can also download alpha versions and beta versions as well and I'm gonna stick with the stable updates you can also add your own repositories if you are into that I actually have to yeah you can see the repositories are updating and we have new apps available you can add your own repositories simply into the URL here or scan the QR code and you will be done. Okay, what else we can see here and there is a lot of traffic around here. You can also 
change your settings depending on whatever you want if you want to use Wi-Fi data or just don't want updates at all I actually want to check for updates daily yep that's the thing I am going for yep pure black is the one I'm getting because I have an OLED smartphone so yeah you can also that is you can also include anti feature apps which do not support you as or things that you do not want on your phone you can also filter by those as well nice feature I like that so what else do we have here looks like the only issue I have is the local send I'm gonna uninstall local send and then I'm gonna download it from the F-Droid so I can up get updates directly from F-Droid and don't have to use the Google Play Store for updating local send Okay, there are games as well. We can get Guardian Project apps, Money apps, Multimedia, Navigation, Phone and SMS as well. There are The good thing to know is that all of these apps are completely free and open source. So you don't have any issues with yourself. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.